Say what up to the people. <laughs> okay, so you can put your bag there. Something to see. You want to buy things. You know, but nothing that you need to keep. I don't know. I feel like I'm such a messy eater. Like people fall everywhere. That's why I have to warn you. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nope. What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of the Kiss Capades podcast. I have a very lovely guest with me today and I'll just let her introduce herself before we go on. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Radhika. Um, I'm currently a law student. I'm about to finish my law degree and um, yeah, I think that's about it. Mm. Or at least I think so. Um, I was talking to him and I was like, I don't know what I'm going to say for one and a half hours. So I think we're going to go on a journey of self-discovery and see what I'm all about. And yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, Let's do hopefully it. it's interesting <laughs> for you guys. So now, um, funny story is like we actually just started talking like probably two days ago. Yeah. Was it two days ago? No, day? like less than 24 hours. Gosh, yes. <laughs> so less than 24 hours ago. And I was like, yo, I need to have you on the podcast. And the thing is, I mean, I don't know. Have you done another podcast before? Or is it? Yeah, so I, I did actually. Do and it. how did you bump into my podcast? Oh, okay. So um, I have done pod a podcast before with mm. one of my friends in high school mm -hmm. um, who's kind of on his podcast journey. Mm -hmm. He's just about starting out. Yeah. And um, he kind of asked, he also, um, you know, saw my Instagram. We used to go to high school, high school together, but he kind of saw um, like how I enjoyed talking on Instagram and things, mm. which we'll kind of explain in a little bit. Mm. And he asked me to be on his podcast. Um, Oh, was it a guy or a girl? Yeah, it was a guy. It was actually my high school boyfriend. Oh, <laughs> so we did, interesting. Yeah, we did a whole podcast on um, like interviewing my ex. So that's I, I pretty, wouldn't do it. pretty there's, interesting. There's you wouldn't? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> it, I guess it depends on your relationship with them. Thank you. With your ex? Yeah. Oh, my ex has horrible relationships. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk to any of them. I have horrible ones as well. <laughs> Also, oh, it's just but one of those. This particular one is, is, uh, is fair. <laughs> are you sure you don't want some cake? That apple pie actually looks amazing. I'll Which try. I'll try a bit. Okay, this or do you want like a whole? No. Okay. No, okay. I don't okay. Think okay. I can okay. Do a whole okay. <laughs> I don't want to traumatize the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you're talking about, um, yeah, like, yeah. I was saying that I can't do a podcast with any of my exes. Just yeah. Not. It it was a bit awkward in some places but i think it's also good to talk it out you know no closure no 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 i don't need closure <laughs> from any of them <laughs> but how did it go was it something that you guys like actually after the podcast you're like hmm yeah no this um, was actually good yeah it was good i mean um i think the whole thing was we've always been friends even before we started dating so hmm. after we broke up yeah we didn't talk for about two three years oh. um and then we kind of just reconnected and we were just like wow we're such good friends and <laughs> it should probably stay like that mm -hmm. um and yeah the po podcast did well and everyone not everyone but a lot of people from my high school you know went back and watched it because everyone was like yo what happened like oh because when you left high school you guys were still together So we broke up at the end of high school so everyone was kind of like What's going on? Like no one knew the story, yeah. so that was kind of like shedding light, shedding, spilling the tea. Oh, and what like spilling the tea? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> why, why did you guys break up? Why did we break up? Ooh. Mm. You know, when you're in high school, and then you know, towards the end, you kind of, you kind of change. Like there's this, the last year of high school, I feel like you change drastically, mm -hmm. and I think that's what happened for me because when we were when we were, you know, in 11th grade and 10th grade, um, we got along and, you know, our personalities matched. But then by the time I progressed and was applying to university, I yeah. felt like I was a totally different person. And Grown up? He was a bit childish? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> He's probably watching this. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm not saying it in a bad not, way. I'm <laughs> he's not childish. Okay, <laughs> no, okay. Joking, joking. Um, okay. <laughs> we were just on different paths and he was going to study in America and oh, I was so going to e- the UK. Either way, you were still going to be So apart. even Yeah, even logistically, yeah. it didn't really make sense. Mm. And, um, you know, once you start thinking like that, the relationship is over in your head and it's really hard to salvage it at that point. Mm. So, so yeah. who broke up with who? You're making me sound you like see a how monster. These, you see how these questions are back to back. Like, mm. I, I, I broke up with him. Oh, wow. Um, see, I, I could tell. I <gasps> could just tell. No. Yeah, no. I mean, yeah. So ba- it's a, it's a funny like a story. Looked like a heartbreaker. Yeah. <laughs> no, basically, we were kind of like a gamer couple, right? He's like a gamer. Mm-hmm. And he got me into Minecraft which is like this computer game. I know. I've, oh, do I've you know had it? I don't play it, but okay. I see like it's a lot so of popular. people do like commentaries on yeah, YouTube yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really big. It's not as big as like Fortnite now, but Yeah, Fortnite anyway. is crazy. Yeah, it was like that back mm. in the day. Mm-hmm. So we used to play um Minecraft together and this was one day he came to my house and we were just playing Minecraft and I was sitting on the floor on my laptop and he was sitting on my bed and I just started crying. You and started <laughs> crying. Yeah, and I was just like, "Yo, we got to break up. <laughs> what? Just and like that, randomly. And so I'd been thinking about it for months. Yeah. Months and months and months. Yeah. Because at this point, we had been dating for two and a half years. So it wasn't an easy decision. Um, and then I just started crying and I was like, yo, <laughs> we need to break up. And poor guy was like, what? Like, he, yeah. was, he was not expecting it. He was not expecting it at all. And I kind of feel bad for him, but... Um, such is life. Such is life. <laughs> yeah. Life is unfair, but you know, hey, get, yeah. get over it. I'm sure he, you guys just look back at it and just laugh. La- well, it's more me laughing because I didn't <laughs> have to go through the heartbreak. <laughs> but um, yeah, he was not very happy for a long time, but then he's he kind of. Yeah, I can only yeah he's a very friendly person, so he kind of just reached out and was like, yo, it's cool. Sorry for you. Sorry <laughs> it happened to you. So yeah, let's uh, a step forward from that. Like, how did you bump into just like my podcast and what? Because like I just pay attention to the people who follow what I'm doing. Yeah. And I think that's how I reached out to you. So after you followed my podcast. Yeah, I think I saw your podcast with Sonam. Yeah. The model. Yeah. And um, then I was like, yo, what is this? I was mm-hmm. like, that's in Nairobi. That looks like so cool. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, let me follow him. And it was like, I was impressed by like the quality. Mm-hmm. It's really professional. And even the way you put it on Instagram, it looks really professional. So mm-hmm. I was like, yo, I'm going to follow him. And then it, it, I didn't expect you to message me. And I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like almost <laughs> immediately. Like I, I'm that kind of person who like see Takes op- opportunity. opportunity and take it, yeah. yeah. And so I went to your Insta stories, lo- yeah. like your highlights, just to see the kind of person you are. And I was like, hmm, interesting. Because you do like this little short commentaries on quite a lot of different subjects really vast yeah yeah, yeah. That's, so that's why i find it kind of hard to explain what i do <laughs> yeah no yeah. but you know what you do of course i just basically of course maybe if it's studying and working but you have to be doing something yeah. come on there's no you can just say like it's hard <laughs> for me to say like you yeah. know what i do but yeah so i got a glimpse of like just what like the kind of person you are. Yeah. And I have so many questions. Ooh, I'm yeah. excited. And we, and we have so much time. <laughs> and a lot of spare batteries and memory cards. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I'm an open book, so feel free to ask anything. So, uh, let's just start with maybe like just growing up. Do you grow did you grow up in Nairobi? Yeah, so mm. I'm actually a fifth generation Kenyan now. What, which what does that mean? So five generations I, of I've my seen, family. I've seen that like on your Oh yeah, highlights, oh, highlights trying to explain and everything. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically, how? Let me explain that highlight. Yeah. Um, so, I went to study in the UK mm-hmm. uh, for university, and the number one question in the UK is always, "Where are you? Where are you from?" Yeah. Like always. So people usually ask, expect me to say something like London or somewhere in the UK, yeah. and then I say Kenya. And they're like, what? Nah, nah. No way, it's not possible. Not <laughs> possible, like, not possible. So, yeah. so they're like, no, no, no you're, you're not Kenyan. Yeah. I'm like, no, no, yeah, you get Indian people in Kenya. Mm-hmm. Then they're like, you're Indian? <laughs> 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 so it's just a layer on layer uh, of confusion. But, but what do they think you are then? They just think I'm white. But you do speak exactly. 
white. <laughs> you do speak white. Yeah, yeah. I we think, speak white. Yeah, but the thing is, like, that goes into a whole different conversation of is just speaking well. Especially if you've stayed in Kenya, like in your childhood. Yeah. You definitely sound like super, super white. I don't know. So the thing is, my grandmother, she's an English teacher. Oh, that explains. And my dad was really strict growing up. So if I would say something in like an Indian or Kenyan accent. Yeah, yeah? I'd be like, yo. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you would okay. like, no, it said like this. Yeah, yeah. Or I'd be like, uh, uh, off the light. The, okay. That's yeah, normal. Yeah, yeah. He'd yeah, be yeah. like, no, that's not how you say it. Switch off the light. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that explains a lot to even like just how you sound and everything. Because I picked that up on your Instagram. IG, yeah. Was it like, hmm? she Indian or is she like English, English? Yeah. But then now I bumped into the other highlights the way you explain about the fifth generation yeah. thing that you're talking about. Yeah. So what, what's that? So, I mean, so basically, um, a lot of people think, you know, Indians just came to Kenya, you know, after the British to set up businesses, etc., etc., which is true. Yeah. But um, actually before that, while the British were colonizing Kenya, they were colonizing India as well. At the same time? Yeah, they had mm. empires at the same time. And the Indian workers... I'm British. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Indian workers, especially in um, my like area, so I'm Punjabi. So Punjab is a place in India. So there's um, Punjabi, there's... There's so many, there's oh, okay, loads. Okay, 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 let's go with, <laughs> with Punjabi. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so the people in that area I think had already been trained by the British mm. so they had what they did was they took a bunch of them <laughs> and they brought them to East Africa mm -hmm. um, and uh, so my ancestors who came who were like stolen from India yeah. uh, came to Kenya and they were, were building the railway from uh, Mombasa to Kampala I think mm -hmm. Mombasa to Kampala mm -hmm. and that's how I ended up here and um, yeah, so fifth generation. So I'm pretty Kenyan, like, because we didn't have any roots in India anymore left. Yeah. It was literally just an up, uprooted and placed in Kenya. But you have relatives None, there? None, nothing. No? Don't know where, don't know exactly where I came from. I don't know if I know anyone there. I don't even know if, you know, I don't know anything. Wait, have you asked? Yeah. And? It's just no one really knows because there was really? no, there was no really proper record keeping at the time. Mm. And because they were my, you know, great, 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 great grandparents were slaves. They did really have, uh, I don't know. I don't know why. We kind of okay. know the area and stuff, but we don't know if we have any relatives left because there's no like communication. Because then I think you're the first maybe Indian that I've had on the podcast. And, you know, they don't talk about like, you know, going back to India, like to visit their yeah. relatives. And that's different. Are they, are they... Well, does that mean like the others are from a different part, not Punjabi? No, 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 no. Or it, it just happens that your family doesn't have like the ties to the roots? I don't, I don't think roots. a lot of families don't have the ties. Or if they do, really? or if they do... Or oh, do they, they go visiting men? Yeah, mm. so... Yeah, or... So the thing with Indians is <laughs> everyone is your auntie and oh. everyone is your uncle. So yeah, you can go visit and a lot of people... Um, a lot of Indians who came after the British will still have ties in India. Mm -hmm. But personally, and a lot of uh, Sikh families, so Sikh is a religion, Sikhism is a religion that was founded I'm, I'm in Punjab. Okay. Yeah. So Punjab, where like now you come from, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So Punjab is the state in India mm -hmm. and Sikhism started there. So okay. most Sikhs are Punjabi. Okay. Yeah. So... Those were the people, the Sikhs were the people who came to Kenya as slaves. So most so you're Sikh, Sikh? Yeah. Ah, okay. So most Sikh yeah. families I'm catching up. are I'm like catching up. very, very Kenyan. While the people who came after the British mm -hmm. are they they're also Sikhs, some of them, or some of them are Gujarati or just Hindu. Mm -hmm. And they still might have ties. Um, How are they different they from you? So my ancestors came as slaves. Okay, and then they came as business people? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So it's the same thing as like people like black people in America. Some mm. of them, their ancestors came to America as slaves and they don't know where they're from in Nigeria. 
Oh, yeah, 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 true. So but that, if you that's why they have to yeah. do this, uh, what do you call them? DNA Ancestry DNA, DNA tests. Yes, yeah. yes, that's what's But if you popular. move to America, you'll know and you'll still have family here and you'll yeah. come here for holiday. Yeah, yeah. true. So um, like when I explain it like that, people start understanding. Yeah, Because they're yeah. like, oh, yeah, yeah, we know about uh, black yeah. people being slaves. So we can, <laughs> okay. <laughs> kind okay. of like connect to <laughs> yeah. what you're saying. Well, that's interesting because, and then did you ever like at some point just you know as growing up like feel confused about just even like being in Kenya first of all because I'm guessing yeah. like you're saying uh, no relatives in India and then again in Kenya I mean it's maybe like a small portion yeah. of you and your relatives so um because my family has been here for so many generations the yeah. family in Kenya is quite big so in terms of family I have loads of family here mm. um, and we all identify as Kenyan yeah. and we'd, we wouldn't say we're Indian and I suppose if we went to India they wouldn't consider us Indian <laughs> either oh. um, yeah. obviously we still keep culture so I wouldn't say I follow Kenyan yeah I do follow Kenyan culture but I have strong Indian heritage mm -hmm. that's one thing about I think Indian families wherever we go we take our culture with a us lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we take our food and stuff and I think maybe that's why also if you look at Kenyan food it is heavily influenced by like India like Arabic cuisine so things like the pilau, food. Yeah, yeah. pilau mm -hmm. uh, samosa those things are Asian are you yeah. guys eat uh Crazy spicy food, man. <laughs> we do. Do you like, that, that you like spicy food? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was just here with, what's her name? Um, yeah, even Sona likes yeah. spicy food. We actually went to school together. Really? Yeah, we went to the same school. Same class and everything? No, oh, she you was like, like ahead of me. Thanks. And what's her name? Finale. Oh, yeah. Yeah, their current uh, Miss, Miss World, World Kenya. Kenya. Yeah, yeah. And we were just talking about like, you know, how even when she won uh, and how like a lot of other people maybe did not understand that yo she's actually yo yeah. she's kenyan D did First she get backlash for it no not backlash but just con people who are confused, confused yeah yeah because uh it's not highlighted the, hi the process one was not like highlighted yeah. like on social media so that you see the step-by-step -step elimination and everything but if you look back at it properly she was the only qualified person yeah. like with she was the best person for that for the, yeah for the job for the job yeah so it wasn't yeah. like about her complexion or her being yeah, indian or anything exactly. she was just the best person for that yeah. position and she's kenyan like you know she is when, kenyan, she, yeah. when she won and i heard people a few i saw like one or two comments being like it was like on twitter you know twitter yeah. heads in kenya but how the crazy thing they is, go yeah, yeah these same people this is why i don't understand yeah, yeah. these same people Let's talk about it. would be <laughs> if if um you know a black woman won miss britain they yeah. would be happy. Yeah. Happy. Yeah. So keep that same energy when yeah, someone yeah. of a different race also wins in Kenya. Well, that's true. Because the same way black people in UK are British, yeah. the same way you wouldn't call someone in a black person in America Nigerian, they're yeah. American. Yeah. The same way, even though I'm brown, I can yeah. still be Kenyan. And that's why I'm asking, like, did you ever have like that problem fitting in, in like everywhere you go and it's just... So how I is it like growing up? I think it's quite easy to be uh -huh. honest uh -huh. and I'll tell you why. It's because the Asian community segregates themselves. Mm. So we have our own schools. Yeah. We have our own um, temples, mosques, mm. areas. Yeah. You go to Parklands, none it's like Bombay mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Parklands>. No true. <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah, the true. national language of Parklands is Gujarati. <laughs> True, true, Not true. Not Swahili. True. Even like some Mama Bogas, they speak in Gujarati. Oh, they can actually yeah, speak it? They'll yeah, they'll be like, Danya. I don't know. Is that the same in Swahili though? I'm not sure. Let's just say it. Danya, coriander. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Is it the same in Swahili? Danya is Danya in Swahili. Oh, I yeah, thought it was that's an Indian word. But they'll say like, yeah. they'll say Indian words oh, for okay. sure. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, so so no problem fitting no, in. No, yeah. Up. So I went to an all Indian school mm -hmm. um, for my whole whole um, school career so I didn't okay. have a problem then and all my friends were Asian which mm -hmm. is bad in a way because it means that the 
Don't worry, Asians. babe. We're heading. We're heading there. <laughs> we're, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Yeah. I have my question on on lined up. Oh, okay, okay. Just, yeah. Shall I wait for you to ask me? No, <laughs> no, no, no. Just go on, and then I'll let you know where uh, I want to come in with the question. Okay. Yeah. So I just feel like it it means that we never really integrate with maybe different races. Yeah. Um, I think it's improving now, though. Oh, now it's changing cause, and I think the biggest improvement is like just through social me- media and yeah. arts. They're bringing arts. so oh many God. people together. Art is one of the main yep. ones. Like Art. look at this. Yeah, <laughs> and we just talked yesterday. Yeah, exactly. And immediately, like you know, we can already like, like just form. Like social media gave us that platform to yeah. meet. Without yeah. that, like I would have never seen you in school, or you would have yeah. never been at the same. And it's so hard. Plus, yeah. you also have to understand at times it's. Let's say you've been raised like that. And I mean, where in what other bases are we supposed to yeah. meet anyway? But so no, 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 no uh, different race friends growing up. Um, no, I had like there was a few black people in my mm-hmm. school. Yeah, uh, there was a f- there was no white people that I can remember. Yeah. Um, well, the white people would be towards the sides of Karen. <laughs> if you're staying in Parklands and Westlands, <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? You wouldn't you wouldn't find them there. So I think even for them, it's like. Uh, I mean they they've segregated themselves. Yeah, 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 but I think it's just to be. It makes it easy because yeah. I'm just thinking, it's like, even if you're, if you're going to the shops yeah. and you know, everybody's staring at you because yeah. you're different, and it's unfortunate because you know, people who've been like exposed to travel and everything would be used to yeah. kind of like that. But I'm just guessing you being put in a different place where people are definitely not used to seeing like yeah. a brown person. It will be like really hard for you to fit in. Yeah, well. And I understand on ch- during childhood, I think it's necessary because it can be very tricky. Yeah. Very tricky. Yeah. Um, but I think it is opening up now. Mm. Like I think there's more. Um, the school is enrolling more uh, students of color, like different colors and stuff like the that. The school that you went to. That I went to, yeah. Mm. Um, and uh, also the area is opening up. Mm. Um, so there used to be a time where. Indian landlords would not want to rent to black people. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think it's opening up now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well hopefully, at least. I hope so too. 